Thank you for tuning in to episode four of the KBS Magazine podcast. My name is Nakari Spiro and I'm your host. Today we have Matthew Waters, who you may know best as Bronson from the iconic Australian children's show, Round the Twist. So, on Round the Twist, I heard that you may be making a movie. Um, there is... The idea's been flying around for a little while. Mm. Um, there's a few sort of roadblocks that we are potentially having to try and get through in terms of licensing and stuff. Um, yeah. And apparently there's been quite a lot of um, interest over the years of doing a reboot or... I don't think necessarily a film, but mm. doing a reboot um, and they've all sort of come to no avail, you know, it's just not happened. Um, okay. But you know, there's a script that's in the process of being written and, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it could it could happen um, if the powers that be let us do it. Mm. <laughs> so if it did end up happening, would Paul Jennings have anything to do with it? No, it would okay. be completely independent, yeah. Okay, cool. And have you ever met Paul Jennings? Uh, I think I did meet him when I was on the set, um... I mean, it was a long time ago now. Mm, mm. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, he was at a few of the um, pre-shoot meetings and stuff, and mm. I think it was just a hey-going, I'm um, Paul Jennings kind of thing. Mm. <laughs> so you're directing some movies at the moment. What are you working on? Uh, so, no, I'm, I'm a casting director. Casting so director. I, yeah, so I'm mainly working um, – a lot of the stuff I cast is – is based in advertising, so all the TV commercials that you see on TV, find all the talent and the actors mm. um, and, and cast them in those. But I've also, I just finished casting a film um, for Ignite Pictures. Um, it's called Christmas Down Under, um, mm. and it's going to be hopefully released uh, in December or close to Christmas time this year um, here and in the States. Mm. Um yeah, and, but everything else mainly is um, its a lot of advertising. We do TV commercials in day out. I've got four on at the moment. Wow. Um, it's pretty savage, yeah. <laughs> Keeps me busy. Awesome. I bet. So I was just wondering, since you started acting at a young age, what made you stay in the industry, as I'm assuming your parents got you into acting in the first place? Uh, yeah, so when I was, I think, about seven, Mm. Um, I was going to just like dance classes, like mm. going to a dance school um, yeah. and, and doing a bit of singing lessons and stuff. And my mum saw a uh, an advertisement in the Woman's Weekly, I think it was, mm. um, for uh, open auditions for the Boys From Oz in mm. Sydney. And she sort of come and asked me um, if I'd be interested in going and performing on stage Mm. um and she said you know you've got to audition there's going to be heaps of people so anyway long story short we submitted a video um out of 2000 boys they selected us to 200 and then i got called into her majesty's theater which sadly isn't uh, longer there Mm. um and yeah went through i think there was 200 of us that came and auditioned and just sort of worked my way down the list and then finally there was four of us left and they chose three of us to play the role of young Peter to alternate um, between the, the nights. Mm. Um, and then they, so luckily, they chose me to be the, um, to do the world premiere and to do all of the media for it and all that kind of stuff, which yeah. sort of just put me a bit in the spotlight as a kid and mm. got picked up by an agent. And then just, literally just after that, I got the audition for Round Twist. And, um, oh. Yeah, the rest of it is just working <laughs> history. That's awesome. So one last question. What tips would you have for anyone pursuing a career in the same area as you? Um, oh, I think the best the best thing for them to do is absolutely train. You, I mean, I, I didn't go to a drama school as such. I was mm. luckily enough, I just kept working as um, a child. So I kind of learned everything I needed to learn while I was on set. Um but you you have to be you have to continue your training. Like even now, I go and do um, uh, like screen classes and stuff, and mm-hmm. I go to workshops and um, directors workshops, and you know it's all about putting your face out there. It's all about networking. Um, you've just got to be involved. It's never gonna just the phone is just not gonna ring. 
You know, yeah. you've got to be um, vigilant in pursuing what you want to do. You know, I, mm. I don't think there's anything else that I can do. Well, I mean, I could if I had to, but <laughs> yeah. I tried, you know, working in retail and mm. I did real estate for a little while in wow. between jobs and all that kind of stuff. And it was just not um, fulfilling. So mm. now that I'm, you know, working as a casting director is still, uh, um, it's creative, it's um, still involved in this industry and I'm obviously, I still audition for stuff. Um, I still, you know, go up for jobs and mm. um, yeah, I've just, all my time at the moment is about making a living uh, yeah. for my family. I've got mm. a young son and my wife and um, yeah, we've just uh, just got to keep, keep going but absolutely mm. just focus on what you want and you have to train you have to go and keep it's like going to the gym you've yeah. got to exercise those muscles the minute you uh relax mm. and 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 don't start like you know stop reading scripts or stop auditioning you know two months goes by and you haven't done anything and it's like wow i feel a bit rusty and then the self-consciousness kicks in and yeah. you were own worst critic and yeah so you just got to be vigilant and just keep doing what you're doing even if you're not getting gigs make your own gigs you know mm. write screenplays do short films um, submit to contests, you know, trop fest mm. and whatever mm. there is out there, you know, that's that's the best way to do it. It's all about being seen mm. as a progressive person in the industry. Wow. Okay, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for joining me. No um, worries. Thank you all for tuning in. Any links will be in the description of this podcast and make sure you subscribe for any updates and any new episodes that we put out.